Hey, how's it going? Last few videos have been, uh, well, the same background because we all run on the job, it's the end of the day, and I thought I'd get some of these thoughts out of my, out of my head. So it is what I consider break time as I'll be going home soon, and I want to give you some more tips. Now I'm going to show you a uh, quick and very accurate way of screwing off the bottom of these studs. Now, once I put my phone down, I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to hear me, but there are some key points. Look at the leverage I use. Um, I am going to use my square because that makes it most accurate. Why is that important? Well, yeah, you could eyeball this. Let me turn this. You could eyeball it. Call it good. You're going to be good on most of them. But there are a few of them that are going to just bend when you're screwing them. Now, this is 20 EQ, so it's a lot, uh, a lot more stiff than some of the lighter gauge material. But even then, if this moves a little bit, right? And then four feet later, on the other side of your stand-up, the other side is off just a little bit. You might have to add backing because you might have to add backing now or unscrew your stud and reshift it because it's, you know, it's a quarter out on two different studs, opposite directions. You know, now it's a different video, but that's also why I don't uh, lay out to center of my stud. You lay out to the hard side or the soft side. Most of us do soft side. I can't change that habit overnight. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna set this up and see if you can see and more importantly hear me without blowing out your eardrums. Now again, I don't have my hard hand. Always wear your hard hat, always wear your safety glasses. Earplugs, always a must if you wish to hear. When you get a little older, I actually can't hear out of my right ear because back in the 2000s, they are like, you don't need that stuff. And now gloves also. Didn't used to be a thing. Right. So I'm going to show you first. Actually, you know, I'll tell you a little story. So I was working on this job. Uh, we had about six, six of us on the job, I think, eight, um, all paired up. And there was a uh, apprentice, first bracket, screwing off studs. Now he was uh, using his clamp a lot, which is, you know, has its benefits. Um, he, was, he was struggling. He was kneeling on the floor a lot and, and just trying to get it and not getting a lot of help. So his, and his journeyman happened to be up in the ceiling. I had to come down to the chop saw anyway. So I just took a few minutes to actually show him a quick way to screw off his studs, which I'm about to show you. And uh, that quadrupled his production after that point. He uh, got through walls real fast, so um, we'll go over that. Now when I screw off when I screw off the one side, there's my layout mark. Okay, it's a little different than what you typically see. Typically you see that. This is just a, uh, saves me having to pick up my pen. It's a lazy efficiency for you. And uh, so just make sure that's good, right? But it's the other side that there's quick ways to do it and maintain the highest quality and accuracy you can. So that is what I'm going to show you. I, now I think I was showing this, I don't remember. A lot of the tips I show you, I was showing myself sometimes, mostly by the journeyman that brought me into this uh, apprenticeship, but also uh, some apprentices showed me once I became a journeyman. What it is. Now if you can, put your square on the flat side of the stone. Uh, this side works too, but if this flange does, it does get bent, right? If it's bent at all, where you're putting that square, then it's not going to be as accurate. Not always an issue, but sometimes it is. So I throw the square on here. I'm going to screw this off with my left foot, with my left hand, and I put my square on there. I put my foot right here on this end. Now it's tight to this, push my hand here, screw it off. Now whether you have heavy gauge or light gauge studs, that won't move and you don't need to clamp it. Ooh, those things. Alright, go down the stud, like that. Now I'm going to flip it around, get a little quicker with my right hand, just to show you how fast this can go. I 
have more screws in my hand too. Now by using my square, I don't have to use my clamp. Why would you want to use a clamp? Well, sometimes these studs move. So it gives you that, not only uh, by holding it with my hand and the, and the square, I'm out of shape. I prevented the stud from moving without having to clamp it. Now again, this depends on how accurate you need it. On stand-ups, you want to be pretty accurate. If you're off by a quarter, both sides, you got to move shit or add shit, right? So not ideal. Now, I don't, you may not have noticed, so I'm going to point it out to you. When I screw this off, instead of blowing out my shoulder, by like pushing it in, right? <laughs> keep, seeing, keep seeing my own shadow. All right. I use my knee. Now, it's hard for you to see. There, so I put my elbow against my knee. I push them both at the same time, but mostly with my leg. This allows me to not burn out my shoulder. So you can see how it's all connected. And I move my entire body. In martial arts, we call that grounding. But in framing, we call that common sense. Now, again, common sense is the, um, well, it's for the experience, right? What's common sense for a baker is not common sense for a mechanic. So we learn as we go. All right, well, I think that is it for now. You have a great day, and uh, thanks for watching. Oh, and as always, if you do something better, leave a comment. This isn't for everybody, but it works well for me. Have a great day.